One thing holding back the iPad from being considered, for most people, a real computer is some sort of cursor support, so being able to use a trackpad or mouse. Luckily, that is no longer a problem. The latest iPadOS software update 13.4 includes support for just that. Now, there are a few catches. Right now, it only works with Apple's own Magic Trackpad and Magic Mouse, and really, it'll work best with the Magic Trackpad since you can use more gestures. But assuming you have those, getting started is easy. All you need to do is turn on your mouse or trackpad and bring it close to your iPad and then go into settings. Then go to Bluetooth and you should see your trackpad or mouse pop up here to connect. Just tap it and that's it. Now, if you try to use your trackpad, a new cursor will pop up on your iPad. You don't have to do anything to turn this on. Although there are a few settings you can adjust if you go into general and then you'll see a trackpad or mouse section. You can adjust the speed and some other features, but really there's not much you need to do. It does work differently than cursors you're used to on desktops though. This one is dynamic, so when you mouse over an icon or a button, the cursor will morph and snap depending on what you're hovering over. It also changes color depending on the background so it's easier to see, and overall it's just a smooth and functional implementation. One of the reasons to use the trackpad specifically is gestures. One finger is used for just moving around like normal, and two fingers is used for scrolling around. To go home when in an app or to switch between apps, you can use three fingers to swipe around, either home or between pages. And if you use three fingers, swipe up and hold, it brings up multitasking. Now, the iPad does have some specific functions that lend itself to touch. For instance, swiping home or swiping down. But with this new feature, all of that can also be done with a mouse or trackpad. So if you move to the top of the screen and just continue swiping up, the notification tray will slide down. The same thing if you swipe up from the very top right where the battery percentage is, that'll bring down the control center. Or you can just click the battery area. And if you swipe over to the right side of the screen, you can get the slide over multitasking app view. If you're in an app and you need to access the dock, you just go down to the bottom, continue swiping down, and it will appear. And if you want to go home, you can just click the home bar down below. Besides those specific navigation and gesture options, this does act just like any cursor that you've used before. If you're working with text, you can select and right click, you can drag and drop. Really everything you're used to from the desktop experience is here, but just with a few extra iPad-esque features dropped in. Really, there isn't too much to this new feature on paper, but in practice, it is a completely new way of using the iPad. And once the official Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro gets released with the built-in trackpad, this will be a great all-in-one computer solution for those who love the iPad. You know.